This is your CBS News Baltimore update for Sunday, October 1st. I'm Iana Massey. An 11th hour agreement is reached to keep the government funded. Just three hours before the midnight deadline, the Senate overwhelmingly passed a bipartisan bill to keep the federal agencies open for 45 days. The bill, which funds the government throughout November 17th, was signed into law by President Biden late last night. House Speaker Kevin McCarthy was forced to rely on Democrats to pass the bill. And it's been nearly three months since the deadly mass shooting at Brooklyn Homes. And yesterday, the mayor's office hosted a Brooklyn Healing Day. The event included food and resource tables for the community. Neighbors also planted trees and flowers in the memory of the victims. The investigation is still ongoing. Five teens are charged in connection to the shooting. There's also an $88,000 reward for any information leading to additional arrests. And Maryland State Police are investigating a fatal two-vehicle crash that happened early yesterday in Baltimore County. Around 2.30 Saturday morning, troopers responded to I-95 South at Chesico Avenue for an accident. They say a 2019 Nissan Altima was possibly disabled on the highway when it was rear-ended by a tractor trailer. 31-year-old Denzel Butcher was in the Nissan and was killed. A 28-year-old man also in the car was rushed to shock trauma. The driver and the passenger in the tractor trailer were not seriously hurt. I-95 was closed for about five hours following that crash. And if you own a Hyundai and live in Baltimore County, we want you to listen up. So you have yet another opportunity to get a free steering wheel lock. The wheel lock event will be held at the Pikesville Precinct this Tuesday, October 3rd at 8 a.m. It will be handed out until they run out. During the event, you can also get information about an anti-theft software upgrade event. It's scheduled for Saturday, October 7th at the Thompson Hyundai dealership in Dundalk. And the Baltimore Orioles will be hosting a public memorial for Orioles legend and National Baseball Hall of Famer Brooks Robinson, who passed away last week. It's tomorrow at 10 a.m. at the ballpark, and free parking will be available in lots A, B, and C, and fans can enter via the ballpark gate E. Well, the lots will open at 8.30, and entry into the ballpark will begin at 9 a.m. This is not a ticketed event. And that's your CBS News Baltimore update. I'm Yana Massey.